Hey guys, jab it back. Today we are gonna place this over here. Cause we're doing the second mission on the Jumi line. <laughs> the Tower of Leers. Now the tower is actually a really one of the more complicated ones because there are actual like dead ends and drop off points. Oh, look at that. That looks so look at the moon. The moon was breathing out a cloud. That was great. Gate of Ravens. Now this right here, you see it's pixel art, so it's much different from the backgrounds, is actually a person. It is Pearl! I couldn't figure out what the heck I thought this was like back in the day when I first played this on the tiny low resolution screens. I thought this was a completely different person. I'm just like who the heck is this that's looking at me? No, it's her back. She's got big, complicated hairs and braids and all that. And it looks like this from the backside, apparently. Not that we're much to talk. Look at our hair pipes. The Looking Glass Tower. By the way, all the Jumi quests from this point... I'm pretty sure, like, I'm 99% sure, we'll have that really nice splash on their, uh, starting card, if you want to call it that. So, yeah, we helped find her in the cave, and now she's lost again. But she's got to go to that tower. Something goes with calls to her. Oh, we can't let her go alone. And she's on our party! She is completely useless. I'm sorry, Pearl, you're adorable. I love you, moi. But you do absolutely nothing but hide in the corner and get beat on. You are the most useless partner in this entire game. But that just means we have to be nice and strong. So let's go. And it literally, there's no lead up to this. You just, you're here, you're in there. Nice, right? So let's go. Uh, you could scour everything in this. Like, you go this way. Basically takes you down here. Oh, that's the, it's the start of the sword enemies here, too. I forgot. They are kind of annoying. Not, like, terrible. Oh, bats. And we swapped weapons, because, my lord, was that bow taking forever. This one has at least, like, nine more powers, so... The, the hits are actually noticeable in their damage. And we're confused! Uh, bats and vampiric type enemies have drain attacks. You can see by the little blood splatter in the attack. Jeez! Come on! You done? Uh, confusion, which is notified by that little sound effect in the smoke cloud above us comes with a basic effect it's your directions are reversed can be annoying it's not the worst though and da -da -da -da, we go in this way swords so swords not only have that combo thing, but they do minor shape shifting like that. All in all, those aren't a problem. They have a high attack. 
and everything, but uh, the real annoying part is they're tiny. Like, it doesn't really seem it. But you gotta line up with the uh, the shadow mostly. Like you're above them a little bit, and uh, it basically goes, eh, you miss. See? Now, don't get me wrong, the uh, the combo and what you're seeing them do, a little annoying. Makes them harder to chase down. But it is just that spacing issue that really gets you. Anywho, you beat them up, go to the left. See the little nice staircase there? We're going outside. Uh, we're not quite outside yet, but the little uh, staircase pattern there will always exit out in a staircase like this. And again, this place is kind of complicated, but feel free to look through everything if you want to get all the nice items or grind. I don't terribly need it. So we're going to the outside. This is literally outside of the tower. You see the pine trees. And more swords. I hope we get a special technique. Let's see. After we finish this one, I will swap to the... I forget if we showed off the heavy weapon. Or the two-handed sword. But it very much has the similar attack pattern mm -hmm. as you saw Pearl just kind of sat there in a the corner did nothing their stupid guard Pearl wake up ooh the ice strike and we got a throat slitter, which is a knife, I believe. Much more interested in that. Oh, hey, we got a few of them, actually. I think... I think you have a few... Just because you parted up with Elazul and he used them, so you're just like, oh, cool. I forgot. Oh! It's a vampire! Corkscrew! Wasn't that awesome? Increases defense too, very useful. That's confusion! Stop it! Rising sun! More cool! Okay, now we're just gonna wail on you. Now, you may wonder what's the uh, benefit. The ice strike, get back here. No! Darn it. Oh well. Like, doing the, uh, 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 slightly better on damage and all that. Cutting bamboo, also nice. Uh, the basic reason you want to get... Oh, text behind too, nice. Uh, cutting bamboo. But the main reason to get the actual combo going is the combo can stun the enemies, even if it does slightly less damage overall. You're really not going to notice it a whole lot. 
I noticed it with the bow, but that's because the bow's kind of bad at that moment. Anyway, once you're up here on the fourth floor, just keep going right. Oh, the night enemies, too. I like the night enemies. Their attack animations are quite nifty. They stab the ground, they make a stone spike. Yeah, I strike. Come on, baby. Tumble! Yeah. Probably gonna get cutting bamboo going now. Come on. There we go. Pearl does have a penchant for getting in corners that the enemies can't get to that easily. Cutting bamboo. I miss. Pearl took some of my XP crystals. Come on, there we go. Dang it, man. Hold still. There, finally, got it. Spoils. I didn't want spoils. I wanted a uh, special techniques. I can word. I like these little chess pieces too. They're nifty. I can't quite figure out what the uh, what the queen shape does. Maybe it's like a taunt or something. All right. Oh no, I wanted to do cutting bamboo. I missed anyway. Oh well, we'll get on the next one. So, I believe they're classified as a toy enemy? A lot of the constructs and toy enemies... Ooh, Maelstrom! Maelstrom's nice. Drop mainly money. Attacks around you for minor damage. Yeah, anything that sounds like it could be a storm or something like that is probably an area around you. Storm, whirlwind, maelstrom. Fifth floor! Looks nice up here, huh? And nope, we going down. That is actually one of the key points uh, where you start heading in the actual wrong direction. Oh, hey, it's a basilisk. How do I know that? They're called that, right there. Ah, oh, I got smooshed. I'll take this, Maelstrom. As you might imply by the name Basilisk, he can petrify you. It is a kind of bad uh, state to be in. You're immobile. I think you take more damage. I mean, it's mainly the immobile part that really sucks. You can break out of it eventually, though. But when you have big enemies doing big damage and one of them that's off to the side just does a screen wide beam that petrifies you feels bad bro hey Tess Damon mate okay
We should be hitting... More bats! Okay, I don't want to use it, but Maelstrom again is the best bet for that situation. Jeez, I hate these things. I am so happy that the flip kick has a much higher, or a wider, rather, uh, hitbox. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Ooh! Cutting pine. Oh, cutting bamboo, cutting pine. Blade launcher. Triple tiger sounds amazing. Let's see. Medium range, medium damage. Okay. Eh. We'll replace your cutting bamboo with cutting pine. What? What was the other one? Triple Tiger Blade Launcher. Thank you. I had a small dumb there. Don't worry about it. Come on. Mad Mallards! Uh, Triple Tiger! Two! Three! Yeah! Mad Mallards are actually a really fun enemy. They do a little poop. And it'll explode! The tiny Mad Mallards! It, that attack actually has a fairly decent range. Or area of effect. You can get rid of the egg beforehand. If you manage to hit the Mallard. Before it like lands and stabilizes. Cutting pine. How did that not hit anything? Oh, it ignores the area directly in front of you, I forgot. That was a silly head. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Blade Launcher! How dare you evade my moves not once, but twice! Come on. You die now. You die terribly. There we go. Pearl, get away. You'll get your share. Ah, oh, really? Uh, it was sitting there for so long I expected more. But okay. Going this way. Going up. Hello. Should have maybe saved that, but oh well. We can build up our juice just like that. Triple Tiger again, because it's cool. And that's right, each of those attacks can hit separate people. And it doesn't matter quite as much if you miss one. Ah, jeez. Oh, I forgot. Um, 
You have different defenses in this game. Like your armors provide different defensive values. This sword guy, depending on his attack, actually deals a different uh, blade launcher, cutting pine. Cutting pine. There we go. Anyway, he actually provides a different damage type for all of those moves. They're not just for show. Double knights. Awesome. Do your weird sword stab thing. Not, not that one. That one's cool. Do the weird angle one. Noah. Don't run away from- Oh, he did it! Triple Tiger! <laughs> I'm happy he picked that up. That was cool. Yeah! That is one of the more satisfying uh, sword techniques. Quite certain there are more, though. And again, hey there, you have this opportunity. You can go either direction. What you want to do, though? Uh... I think it's down? Is it down? Uh, I think it's this way again. Okay, yeah. Eventually, we're gonna run into... Oh, ninth floor. That's not right at all. We want to find it was around it was around the eighth floor that we should be finding a rather large door. Yep, there it is. Enter here. There's two different instances of this transportation device. They're at differently numbered floors. What do they do? They bring you to well, different floors. And they're linked differently. That one's 8th and 10th floor. The other one is 3rd and 5th, I believe. Oh, well, though. You go this way. Anyway. No way to go but down. Door of Fate. The room of fate lies beyond that door. Everyone must face their past eventually. Now we're not gonna run. Oh, I thought there was one text. <laughs> Just sitting here like, you gonna say something? No. Okay. Uh. See? Wrong button. Is that on? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe there's only nine techniques per weapon, so let's swap. And as I said, I'm going to show y'all. Something good. So, first off, let's double our damage. And we'll start on these. Rising Crush. Spiral Wave. I'll let you know when we get to my favorite one. Who's that? It looks like Pearl, but it's not. His Pearl's right there. She needs to know. Okay, that was weird. Ugh. 
Ah, Mega Centaur. Just look how much more chunk our damage does with a proper weapon. Oh no, he's gonna just keep moving. He's gonna target one of you. He's gonna target me. Oh, that shove there is a ouch. Ouch. Is a thing that uh, just bosses do, kind of. If you're too far into their uh, hitbox whenever they get back, like that, they just shove you out. Doesn't hurt or anything, it's just a spacing mechanic. So, oh no, the stabs! I kind of want to see him do the other one. Is it a jump? It's the jump. Ouch. I get smooshed. Lunging arc. Yep, does all that. But look at our damage! Hey Pearl, good to see you up. Uh, there is a technique. I forgot about it, but one of the abilities you can have... Pearl, don't get so close to me! <laughs> it's the solution. One of the abilities you use can charge that little special meter. I do like it for boss fights, but largely because... Ooh, Marvelous Stream. That is actually one of the better ones, if I remember correctly. But you have nine basic special techniques that you can get, and then more advanced ones are much slower to learn. Anyway, as I was saying... There is a cheer, or a taunt, taunt, I believe is actually the one. Either taunt, whatever. It raises your special meter. It's not the most useful thing because it leaves you really open. But, Barrel was scared. Uh, what it does do is, when the bad guy is charging up like that, you can just hit it a few times and, oh look. It's as if you were smacking him the entire time that he was getting ready and is invulnerable. So, no time lost. Hey, it's our buddy. He was worried. She wasn't alone, though. She was with friend. Let's go. Come on. I want to talk to her. She's sorry. There we go. We can take Pearl to the bottom. <laughs> well, we got this far. I don't think we're coming out on uh too bad. Yeah. More pearl blush, it's adorable. Anyway. So, it's pretty simple to get back down. It's a lot faster to get back down. We will hit one or two of the more annoying fights. But you see how the railing is broken right here? You go, ah! And you're on the fifth floor! And you just... Take the stairs down the rest of the way. Pretty much that simple. <sighs> but... Why am I keeping this? Well, for one thing, I need to show you all the other moves. For another thing... Man, it's a lot faster when you have more damage. Give me that money. 
give me that money, honey. does that. And I think we can all agree that it's cool. And let's get her. Oh, uh, by the way, the, uh, the leeching attacks that enemies like this will do will never get them above their max HP. Vampire Fangs. Okay. Third floor. But yeah, if you thought that we were done here, well, for one thing, you haven't been paying attention. If we were done in a place, it would just spit us out. Well, screw you guys. I'm just gonna kick flip you into oblivion because I actually have damage. Jeez, that's a rough combo. Oh, we got double confused, so it wore off. <laughs> Stop it! Jeez! Thank you! Let's see. Rising Crush Spiral. Rising Crush is a single target, very close. You need to be like right on top of them. These guys are not the best for it. Do do ba do 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 Sec floor Going down First floor You can see the hitbox in this game and how they're a little weird with just that example. Like I was missing the front guy and he was hitting me because the hitbox said I was getting the guy behind him. Yeah, we have one more fight. Getting to it. Well, maybe one more minor. Nope. Here we go. No, I was wrong. Yeah, was one more minor fight. Thankfully, they followed us. Jeez, these bats. Thank you. Black and bright. And to the front corridor. Well, that's a music change. So we try to leave a card. A note. The Jewel Hunter. Sandra. You ain't taking nothing around here. Go, Jewel Beast! Go, Pokemon! Oh, I should have changed things. 
Rising crush. Okay. Now, the Jewel Beasts actually have a super interesting design. They're used a lot. But if you look at them... Ouch. Ouch. Stop that. But yeah, look at their torso area. There's another person in there. Oh, their their special techniques are pretty cool too. Drill. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, that works too. Lunging arc. Blam. You're done, son! And there we go. All done. A little bit of a longer video to make up for, but as I said, this is a long place. Just listen to your call. Good night, Pearl. Goodbye, Sandra. Lazul should show up any second now. I'm pretty sure that won't quite happen. Hey, we get a thing. The Frozen Heart. Neat. I don't believe we're going there anytime soon. Well, until then... The Looking Glass Tower has ended. Pearl's got a bigger old pearl in her bosom. Peak character design. So we go back home. But until next time, this is going to be Jabby signing out. Have a good one. <laughs>